A man suspected of throwing an improvised explosive at Prime Minister Kishida Fumio was sent to prosecutors on Monday. The incident occurred while Kishida was visiting a fishing port in Saturday to support a candidate from his party in an upcoming by-election. Kimura Ryuji was detained after allegedly lobbing an apparent pipe bomb toward Kishida as he was about to give a speech. The device didn't explode until about a minute later. It went off with a loud bang, creating a pall of smoke and causing minor injuries to a police officer and at least one spectator. Police believe it was a pipe bomb. Footage captured on a camera close to the port before the incident is believed to show the suspect. About a minute after Kishida arrived at the port, the man can be seen walking near the site where the Prime Minister was set to give a speech. Some seven minutes later, the man joins the crowd. He obviously wasn't a local. I've never seen him before. I was wondering why he had a backpack. Shortly before 11.30 a.m., Kishida moves to the podium where he was to give his speech. A cylindrical metallic object suddenly falls to the ground close to him. The man who allegedly threw it was about 10 meters from Kishida. Kishida is quickly escorted from the scene by security. The suspect holding another device is subdued by officers and fishermen. The man in the vest was one of them. I held him down with all my might. He didn't resist, but he wouldn't let go of what he was holding in his hand. If the bomb he was holding had exploded at that time, I might have been injured or even killed. The device the suspect threw blew up about 50 seconds after he was apprehended. A man near the scene said he felt a pain in his back just after the explosion and suffered a scratch. Investigative sources said police found a cylindrical object on a fish tank net next to a warehouse 40 meters from the blast site. That indicates it flew past people who gathered for the campaign speech. 24-year-old Kimura Ryuji was arrested on suspicion of forcible obstruction of business. Police say he has refused to speak to them. Investigators say they found materials that could be used to make bombs at the suspect's residence. Police have also seized his personal computer and smartphone. The incident comes after former Prime Minister Abe Shinzo was shot dead at a political rally last year. Investigators say the gunman may have learned how to make the firearm through online research. A Japanese anti-terrorism expert who looked at the security measures in place at the port says it was lucky the device didn't explode immediately. Swift action was taken and the Prime Minister had already been evacuated by the time the explosion occurred. The security staff have been training for incidents like this and it seems their efforts have paid off. But if you look closely at the video, the explosive fell very close to Kishida. That remains a challenge for future security planning. Itabashi says the incident highlights the difficulty of ensuring security during election campaigning in places where a large number of random people gather. The targeting of an incumbent prime minister is a very serious matter. 
It occurred when Kishida was on the stump, as was the case with the assassination of former Prime Minister Abe Shinzo. The authorities need to review security measures to be taken during election campaigning. The National Police Agency has instructed police across the country to step up security measures for the G7 Hiroshima summit in May.